and we were watching Game of Thrones with our vodka sodas with lime, and I just screamed like, I love you! <laughs> <laughs> I can't stare at you. It's like making me cry. I'm like, we haven't even started. <laughs> so I am Ben. I'm Jen's husband. And I am now a videographer. Hi, I'm Jen. I am Ben's wife. And I make YouTube videos online. Four, Four and, and a half, half years. years. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> How long has it been? <laughs> Can you hear me? Good. So the first time we met, it was in San Francisco. I was in a band. It was actually my guitarist, John, was on Tinder and met Jen's best friend, Stephanie. She had basically dragged me out to go out with the whole band because she was like, oh, it'll be so much fun. And, you know, the drummer's really cute. I remember we met and it was, it was just in some dingy dive bar. We were just talking and I remember thinking, like, absolutely stunning but I could just see how just a sweet soul she was. I remember Ben would always like try and sit next to me and he was very engaged and I really appreciated how inquisitive he was. I wasn't really looking for a relationship, but he was hands down a really sweet guy and very curious, which I liked. It was so relaxing, wasn't it? It wasn't like crazy flirting or anything. We're just getting to know each other mm -hmm. and I tweeted you the moment we landed back mm -hmm. in England and said, good hangs, Jen, with one, one N. N. It should have been all over there and then, <laughs> but it wasn't. <laughs> it came quite quick for me, actually, a lot faster than I thought it would. Obviously, we were doing the long distance thing. We were talking a lot. Jen was unsure whether to come out. You know, it was a big commitment. We only, we only hung out like one night. <laughs> like, and I was waiting at the airport for like five hours but when I saw you and just how easy it was and how effortless it was, that's when I knew. And I actually told Jen at the end of that trip, it was one of the last nights I just said, look, I know this is too early, but I've fallen in love with you. And it felt so good to be able to say it. And I was like, whoa, okay. He told me that he loved me because he, he was so sure of it. And I don't like to say, things that I don't feel just yet. And so I waited until he came and visited me in Oakland. And we were watching Game of Thrones with our vodka sodas with lime. And I just screamed like, I love you. <laughs> so remember when you said it, it felt very sudden for me. Mm -hmm. I was like, whoa, it felt like just a big bomb in the room when yep. you told me. And by the time you visited me, I was like bursting to tell you. you. I, was like, yeah. ah, I was like, I love you. <laughs> that was one of the best nights ever. I think borderline, I had some like OCD tendencies. Like I liked everything arranged in a certain way. But when he moved in, it was not like <laughs> chaos, but to me it felt like a lot because suddenly my scissors were in the right place or the lights would be on, but no one would be in the room. You know, there's little things I learned like with the kitchen roll, you know, being an Englishman, I just grab loads of it and just wipe the surface and Jen would use like a little quarter of it and she basically knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> you about the paper towels? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I knew it from the second you... <laughs> it was that. <laughs> and then that. <laughs> my reaction for that was way too big for what it actually was. I think it's just the kind of the stress of change. Yeah, it was. I think what would catch me was when I would realize like you moved to be here with here with us. Mm -hmm. And so I think, I don't know, I, I kind of like, I kind of had to really like step back at the situation and see what we were fighting about. Being that tag along, the plus one, the Jen's Ben, you know, even some people come up to me and be like, Jen, but like close enough, it's Ben, but um, you know, you, you were nearly there. <laughs> um, you know, it's never like an ego thing for me. I don't need to be the star or need to be this and that, but um, I wanted to make Jen's parents proud. I wanted to be, you know, the person in the relationship, the man in the relationship to support, you know, financially and in other ways. And I think that's probably my my biggest insecurity. It's it's a pressure that I put on myself, but I feel like a lot of the decisions, like the scary adult decisions, I I have to do. 
like the house insurance and the fire insurance and the credit score and all that stuff. Like I don't want him to deal with it because like I just want to be able to take care of him. Um, but my insecurity is like if I somehow like die or something, <laughs> like who will be able to take care of him? What did you say? I just said like, I don't know, I just feel like I want to like shelter you from all the scary like adult <laughs> problems. <laughs> but my insecurity is like, if I somehow die or something, then it will burden you with all those new problems. I think it's the just the insecurities of when you love someone or something so much, like you automatically fear the worst and what life would be like without, and you know, that's scary. Yeah. It's very hard to even allow yourself to imagine that because it's probably the scariest thought of all. I think just you being you, you being there with me and laughing together and just holding you and just being silly with you, making our, our little jokes and your smile and the way the way you look at me and the way you care for me and the way it's just it's just too hard like you are my life i would just miss his positivity because being around ben you really think you can do everything and he makes me think that i can achieve everything that i put my mind to he's like such a freaking ball of light and he, he sacrifices so much, and, oh my god. It's a hard one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The idea of thinking about it, kind of, it's the worst feeling. <laughs> you know, yeah. you miss every little thing from the good times to the bad times. Life is all always going to have problems, and I feel like when you marry someone, it's about figuring them out together. The idea of building a family and having kids, mm -hmm. it's not scary, you know? Like, we know we're gonna be good with it, and because our communication's so good, and we really, truly care about each other, and I fall in love with you more and more every day, so I can't wait for the future. I love you, babe. I love you. No. See, the first time Jason and I went out to a lunch date, uh, I was mesmerized by his hair. Um, oh, hey, how's it going? Didn't notice you there. Uh, Ryan here from Jubilee. Uh, if you liked our videos, please subscribe for more. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video as well. Leave us a comment below to let us know what you thought. Until next time, live deeper. Live deeper. <laughs> <laughs>